I'm hoping we can get through this whole like for like last step to becoming hunters over with because I I am generally worried for like this series because it's it's been ranked pretty low. Obviously, the the table of contents rankings aren't absolute, but I, I'm waiting for volume sales. We get to see how those uh, you know play out and to see how Red Hood does. I'm hoping it survives again. I like Red Hood. I, I think the series has been fun so far. I like the characters. I like the the art. I like the uh, story, and the, the like the general setup of the world. I think has been really fun, and I'm hoping that the series survives. We'll see. Uh, either way, right now it's. It, like they're in the the last moments of the whole like cops and robbers game and they got to figure okay well how are they going to to get to winning because it seems like they want to get everybody on their team to win pretty much like if you side with them they're going to get you past the finish line and get you into hunters and there was actually a really good line about like kind of like that from uh from grim in this chapter at least i think what kind of relates to it but like the start chapter starts out Velo obviously wanting bonkers to become uh, a hunter with him and while they're talking about everything like grim is pretty much giving him like a bit of a lecture and like saying like she doesn't really get the idea that uh, like doesn't understand where he why he thought like the guild is a place of heroes and it's like some big things like okay it doesn't really matter if you're like some gung-ho hothead or like some some dude down as luck or whatever he's like we we need Pretty much anybody who's like fast, strong, smart, like hot-headed, level-headed, uh, pretty much everybody capable. Because that's one thing that I think makes the most sense. Like in, in these scenarios, like when it comes to like these characters and stuff and, and their world, I don't think it should really matter. It's like, well, you don't have the the heart of a hero to be on or whatever. It's like, well, one, they aren't doing heroic things. Like we we've seen that though they go and do things and contract with them that are ultimately good. They aren't like. They aren't like pure souled heroes. Like Grim definitely doesn't have that about her at all. And Debonair, though, she seems like really chill. She doesn't seem to have that whole setup. I mean, she's clearly very powerful, and she spends most of her time at like iron, a whole iron works, and like training like these newer people and just kind of like messing with them and stuff. But it's like logically, she could just go out and start bodying these big monsters with like little to no problem and save a lot of time and whatnot. They, they, they've got their own agendas and their own kind of greater uh results means that i think that they all have uh set so it's like you're not gonna you're not gonna deny somebody that is beneficial to you and to like your your whole team just because of like well maybe they're not the nicest or whatever it's like in this scenario this you're not you're not building like a it's not like the justice league or something of the avengers it's like no this is like this is like forming the military pretty much or like you can have douchebags in there who cares as long as they get the job done and they're and they're like helpful and useful but the the whole bits of grim is like not really even giving any form of uh restraint uh like outside of like using like really powerful weapons and like any like if she's got any other spells and whatnot uh i don't really see her doing anything she wouldn't do against any of these uh you know like any of the monsters and stuff because she she just seems to be knocking people out. Like, she's like, well, I don't have any cuffs, but I'll just come get them later. I'll just knock them unconscious and call it good. And that that doesn't seem to be really bothered at all uh, by her when she's, like, putting all these guys literally just in the dirt on the ground. She was commenting on Velu and, like, Velu's whole kind of, like, role in this. and But also in, like, how all the woodcutting training that she did with, with that he did with the mayor. It's kind of, like, it's pretty much really let, set him out as, like, a really high potential candidate and saying like okay well pretty much like tilled the soil and like made it really nutritious and whatever and and now he's budding from the that training and you know all of that effort that was put into it but at the same time she's like well that's still not going to do anything for me some potential like a a, a sprout with like a, a bright potential future ahead of him isn't going to mean shit against me right now and she's just doing her thing bonkers though is a really cool uh, moment because Velu turns around goes and like jumps to kind of like build a uh, they kind of like build a distraction, but also he puts his hands through both of the cuffs so she doesn't have any more to use. And even while like locked up, she's not like slowed down at all. She's still going. Or, and then uh, I forgot the one girl's name, the acrobat girl, but they go and like loop around Vayla's leg and Bonkers grabs it and kind of like just jumps out the window and then just uses his physical strength and weight to pull Grim back. One thing I will note is. That's actually really impressive for him, the fact he's able to contend with Grim at all in physical strength, considering she was able to block attacks from that giant werewolf. I mean, clearly it's not like she's 
you know, had to, like, put 100% in, but it's, like, him doing anything whatsoever is really impressive for, like, a character of his stature, of somebody who seems to just be strong and, like, doesn't have anything crazy, like, power ability-wise or even, like, tool-wise. Uh, but while they're doing their thing, they're still just kind of, like, going about their plans, going about, like, what they're going to be doing and how they're going to be going about trying to get the rest of the people out and get everybody on their team passing because... Valu's plan wasn't just about like reducing certain numbers. They pretty much used saying how they wanted to um they pretty much wanted to just to get it down to like certain numbers. And there's like Debonair and the coal storage and she's like going against Tilty and Milty. And that's when uh Bonker shows up and he starts talking to him and he's like bringing numbers in and like having all these people just to go and like rush her. And she's she ends up like turning up her heat like 140 degrees uh Fahrenheit and and I mean, even that is going to be really troublesome for a lot of people. Because even even 140, like, you could withstand that heat. It's going to be uncomfortable. And it's going to make it, like, hard to even, like, keep your eyes open and breathe and stuff. Uh, but while they're doing the thing, they they, they pretty much want to get Tilty and Milty to pass as well. Because we know Tilty's whole thing with, like, he, he seems to have, like, a bit of an issue with, like, trust and, like, doing stuff with other people. But Velu, like, in the center is definitely helping push that uh, along. And they're saying, like, you know help us uh and you know help us and then let us help you and uh you know we want to get everybody on our side to pass so like this is gonna be a weird one like tilty and milty are such weird kind of side characters this is like a last thing to kind of mention because like with like bonkers and mario will be a server name is pronounced like them kind of like being grouped up with the with velu in the whole training portion it's like okay well these are probably gonna be main cast members but it's like tilty and milty showed up and then kind of immediately went away but they have their own kind of like story piece in this but we haven't focused much on it I interesting nonetheless but anyway other than that comment below thumbs up the video with a friend like but subscribe and check out my other videos but on that for showing me already subscribe and thank you all for listening bye